What's up guys, Shindoru here and today I'm showing you my Tatsu mix-up in the corner. Since I got some comments on it from my previous match, the example for example you've seen a bit earlier. Now to get right into this, basically what I'm doing is I end my combo with light kick Tatsu and after that I do another light kick Tatsu. Just like that. Now. How do you decide if you land in the front or in the back? Well, <laughs> to, to be very fair with you guys, you don't. You don't control that. It's the opponent that controls it, and that's the fun part of it. Now, if the opponent wakes up with normal recovery, I will land in the back, and then if he does back recovery, you can see that I land in front. However, I want to point this out to you guys, that this mix-up is purely based on like more of the of a mind-fucking ability, more visually, because if your opponent wakes up with normal recovery, he can even punish you with a medium punch, it's really unsafe. Uh, but however, if the opponent does back recovery, uh, it's safe against any 4 frame wake up. And it trades with 3 frame wake up. So, if you are convinced that your opponent is going to press a button, then I would not. Uh, I wouldn't choose this setup in that situation. However, if you're sure that your opponent is not going to, like if he's respecting uh, your pressure on his wake up, then you could go for it and then you can get some very nice damage. For example, if you got your opponent here on back recovery and you are sure that he's not going to press a button, if your opponent does back recovery, it looks really, it's, it's, it's a weird mix up because people are going to think that the Tatsu is going to land behind them all the time, it doesn't matter what happens or how it happens, They, I will always land behind because they think if they crouch, the Tatsu will go over them. But that doesn't, that isn't the case with back recovery and that's the beautiful part. So, for example, oh, well, good job me. You can get a nice reset with that after you stun your opponent, for example. You can go for that Tatsu, 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 and then you can end, for example, the match. So, yeah, well, that's actually about it. Also, one more thing, for example, if they do, or if they are aware of the Tatsu, and instead of figuring it out that they can punish it, they might be using no recovery at all so basically the best thing you can do then is you can just tatsu back and you're still in time to do a midi so that makes you safe i would say and then you got two tatsus for meter so that's good yeah that's about it guys like i said it relies more on the surprise element and the illusion to be safe that makes this strong because in reality it isn't safe so keep that in mind regardless I hope you guys can still appreciate this mix-up as it worked countlessly in my favor thus far as you've seen in the example I showed you in the beginning of the video I have tons of matches where I use it and it worked countlessly for me like I don't know I don't know why and it's actually really fun to use it so I hope you guys can appreciate that thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video